hello guys welcome to another video in this video I will be showing you how to convert JSON file into a data frame what is JSON? JSON stands for JavaScript on notation it is a format in which data is sent from the web server into the web page now the file we are going to be used we are going to be using in this video is a file that i downloaded from the fda web website which is food enforcement um, data now this file is in json format now before we go into um, the conversion properly i want us to take a look at the, um, the file how it looks like so i click here and uh, we wait for it to load good so here is the food um, enforcement data we can see here that this data takes the form of a dictionary now what does it mean it means that it has a key value pair this particular data is divided into two segments the first one is the meta and then the second is the result aspect now if we take a look at the meta the meta is the key and then these are the values and then when you come down to the disclaimer the disclaimer is the key separated by a colon and then this is the value the value to the disclaimer also when you come down to terms terms is a key separated by a colon and uh, having the value to be this web link so that is the uh, the format in which this json file has been stored in now you come to the others to the second part of the data which is the result um, aspect now when you come to the result you will see that the um, status is the key and uh, the uh, the status which is uh, completed here is the uh, value um, of this particular key so a dictionary is usually separated with by a colon now we come here in order to um, do the conversion we are going to open a new python 3 we are going to open a new python 3 python 3 environment so we'll wait while it loads So this is the new Python 3 um, environment. Now the first thing we want to do is to import the necessary libraries that will be needed for the successful conversion. Now we import the necessary library. Now what are the libraries we want to import? The first one is we import pandas as speed and then we also import json and then when we do that we run you run by holding your control and you click on enter so we have seen so we as we can see we have successfully the the libraries are successfully been imported 
so the next thing we want to do is to open a new uh, uh, to open a new cell now in this particular cell we want to read the file want to read the file now in reading the file we are going to give it a name we are going to give the dictionary a name called data and then we pass in the um, json dot load which opens the file up and then we are supposed to put the file within this um, um, into a string format and in doing that I come over to the folder having the um, file and then I click here when I click here I click on rename I copy the file name ctrl C and then I paste ctrl V now this particular um, code we I use the open function to open this file up and on opening it up json.load turns the file from um, json.load returns the file in um, a in a dictionary format so when I click control and enter you can see the file has successfully been read now to confirm that the data is a dictionary format I type my I just I you 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 click on type I mean you um, type we check the type of the data we run and you can see that it is a dictionary format now the next thing we want to do is to convert this dictionary the data into a data frame to convert the dictionary And in converting the dictionary, I give it a variable name df, which is equal to pd dot data frame open brackets data, and then I need only the results, the results of the data, the results. And then when I run it, okay, to confirm that it has successfully um, been loaded, I will put df, then run. So we can see that the file has been loaded into a data frame. Now we can see that the file contains to 22,756 records that are separated into 25 columns 22 or oh, that is over 22,000 records of um, this particular data from the FDA and then having 25 um, columns now that is how you can be able to convert a, um, a file which is in JSON format into a data frame from which you can do your analysis i hope that we have learned something new today please if you enjoyed this video kindly like comment and do not forget to subscribe until i see you next time i remain Samuel Namani, also known as Samist the Analyst.
Thank you very much.